What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Trent Peterson and in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down my business expenses for this past month. A few days ago, I made a video breaking down my personal expenses and you guys wanted to see my business expenses and I'm gonna show you how I spent multiple five figures last month inside my business. So to give you guys a little bit of insight with my business, I sell on Amazon. So as you guys can see, Amazon FBA, that's what I've been doing full time for the last two and a half years, almost three years now. I also make YouTube videos as you guys are watching this video. So go down, hit the subscribe button as you guys can see with the light. And then I have an online coaching program. I do affiliate marketing. I do some real estate investing. And then I also have a new business that I'm going to be launching here in a few days. So I'm a serial entrepreneur. I love what I do. And if you guys like any of that, then consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate the support. Drop a comment on the video. Um, let me know what you guys think of the exact number of how much money you think I spend. Like the video. And without further ado, let's dive into the video. Okay, so let's dive into my screen. Let's break down my business expenses. We're gonna be diving into my credit card statements and I'm going to be very transparent with where I'm spending my money. And I'm gonna give you guys some kind of insights with credit cards, how to do uh, business deductions, write-offs and things like that to help save your business for the future. So I'm excited about it. If you guys are too, do me a favor. If you have not yet subscribed, do so, also like the video, guess how much down below in the comment section, how much you think I'm actually going to be spending this last month and see how close you can get. So let's come in here inside my screen and let's talk about my first business expense. Um, and that is my business Capital One Spark credit card. And in total, as you guys can see, that's a pretty big number. I spent just over $33,000. Now you're probably wondering what does that consist of? And we're gonna be diving into my credit card statements right now so let's come over here and as, as you guys can see a capital one spark business and what's cool is every time i use this credit card i get two percent cash back and i have a pretty high limit um, my credit limit is thirty thousand, and you'll see my transactions i spent just over thirty three thousand dollars and you'll see my payments is thirty three thousand dollars i do not carry a balance i do not like debt every time i use my credit card i have money in the bank to pay that off so that's something huge don't go into credit card debt i know that there are certain cases where you can and there's zero percent interest and whatnot but for me i do not like the debt and what's crazy is i paid it off and that last month i made 652 dollars in cashback rewards now that's more money than i made in high school at my first job literally swiping my card i make 650 bucks a month so i'm super happy about that nothing to complain about but now let's actually dive into um my my what i actually spent it on and you'll see here on the left are my payments um like i said every time i swipe my card I like paying it off in full. I don't like carrying um, a big balance. It also helps my, my, my credit score. And that is the one disadvantage about Capital One. I love their cashback reward system and their credit limit is high. But if I have a huge massive balance and someone goes to pull my credit, this is going to show on it. Yes, it's a business credit card, but it's still on my personal credit score. So there is a downside to that. And I'm actually going to be making a few videos in the future talking about credit cards. I have a lot more coming in the, on the way and I have some other ones as well. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of the pros and cons and what to look out for when it comes to credit cards. Now this video isn't about credit cards, but that's just a little uh, tidbit about it. But let's go to my business expenses. So right here, you'll see August 25th, um, Chevron, I filled up with gas. As you guys know, I bought a truck and that truck is a business expense. Um, it helps me carry my inventory um, to the UPS store. As you guys know, I get a lot of inventory from my Amazon FBA business and I have to drive it to the UPS store. And it's just a great way to carry all the boxes. My Tesla just doesn't cut it, doesn't fit. Um, all the boxes don't fit my Tesla, so I had to get a truck. So that's what that is. Um, Jersey Mike's, you'll see that I have um, a lot of um, different meals that I'm purchasing on this business credit card. And yes, it's a business expense. I'm going out talking uh, business with my friends. Um, I have a consulting business, so sometimes I'm with clients. Sometimes I'm just talking business in general. I'm going to write that off. And that's something huge that you guys need to do is you need to track your expenses. And that's why I like separating 
everything from personal to business. So getting a, a business credit card, getting your LLC, getting a separate bank account and separating it and then getting a bookkeeper, which we'll talk about a little bit later to really know, okay, how much can you actually deduct from your taxes? And it's going to save you oodles amount of money. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, when I can, I'm going to write something off and it's kind of cool with my type of business. Um, like I said, I sell on Amazon, YouTube, uh, coaching, all of that. I can almost literally write off anything. So it's kind of cool. I don't write off everything, but technically I, I could make a, a excuse for, oh, this is a business expense. Um, and there's this kind of gray areas there, but I try to not be in that gray area. Every time I swipe this card, it's a legitimate business expense. So that's what that is. Then you'll see um, right here, I had a pretty big purchase. I actually joined a mastermind. This is for education for myself to better improve myself, to make me a better leader, to um, improve my ability to teach. It's also going to help me with real estate and different things like that. So I've spent, yes, that's a lot of money, $10,000 for mastermind, um, but I'm super excited about it and things are going extremely well. And the best money that you can ever spend is on yourself. So get willing to spend and invest in yourself. A lot of people just want things for free. Everyone just wants, hey, just tell me, just, hey, can I pick your brain? Like, yes, that's great. And I can give you some information there, but until you actually put money on the table and invest in yourself, just trust me, once you do it, it's game changer. So that's what that expense is. I know it's a lot, but yes, $10,000 there. And then you'll see the ones underlined in green are basically purchases for my Amazon FBA business, so inventory. So uh, I spent $3,000 on inventory, $1,800. And most of these are like deposits. So what I do is I do like a 30% deposit or 50% deposit, and then I pay the rest upon completion. So that's what uh, those transactions are. Here is Zao, that's another um, restaurant. You'll see uh, this next level marketing for PayPal. That's my video editor if you guys are interested in it. Um, let me know if you guys need an editor. Uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram, I'll hook you up. He's incredible. Um, he edits all my videos um, at an affordable price as well. So that's what that is. Then I have um, some other things like Veriship. So that's my Amazon so I'm getting back reimbursements. If you guys don't have Veriship yet, um, you're basically leaving money on the table. You sign up for this tool and then they go in and basically find miscalculated expenses that Amazon charges you for and then you get reimbursements for. I won't go into too much depth about that. And I have Veracity Networks. That's my internet. So um, I have to run my business. So I uh, pay the, the internet bill. Then I have Google, um, like a, a Google Gmail account. And then let's see, I have my, my tax group. Um, so this is another part of kind of the, the mastermind is they're setting me up my like my business and my structure and whatnot. I have a lot of different businesses, as you guys know, consulting, affiliate marketing, um, real estate, um, Amazon. I have two Amazon accounts. So bookkeeping, my LLC structure, I need to get it set up properly. And so I'm paying someone that knows what they're doing to set that all up for me, setting up my payroll and everything so that I'm maximizing my deductions and saving the most that I possibly can on taxes. And that's what that is. I'm investing in my business. So that's what these tax groups are, is setting up different um, entities, setting up uh, different structures, setting up my payroll and whatnot. So that's what that is, the corporate filings. Um, then we have Arby's, then we have uh, South Mountain uh, Golf, where I went golfing um, with um, a client of mine. Then I have another PayPal, which is, this is purchase for inventory. Then I have a taco shop. So that's another um, meal expense. And you'll see some more gas, some more inventory, um, Chick-fil-A. You'll see some more uh, Google, Jersey Mike's. I really like Jersey Mike's. That's one of my new favorite places as of late. We got Alibaba, so that's actually a sample. So 38 bucks, um, a sample. We got Teachable, so every single month to run my online coaching program, I pay 100 bucks uh, to Teachable. And then you'll see again this tax group right here. You'll see that I spent quite a bit of money setting up different entities for my different businesses. So that's what that is. And then over here, you'll see some more uh, golf, uh, Google ads, um, Taco Bell, um, Subway and whatnot. And then down here, we have more um, actual uh, inventory expenses. So $3,000, $3,500, $102. That was for a sample. 
uh, three thousand dollars so the majority of this is uh inventory and another thing to note is i am preparing for q4 so i'm ordering a lot more inventory than normal so the spendage that i have right here like the ten thousand dollars for the mastermind uh all this money on inventory that's not super super accurate now that's what i did spend this last month but um, on normal months, I'm not spending $10,000 on that or I'm not spending a ridiculous amount of money on inventory because Q4 is coming up, I need to be stocked up. So that's what that is. And if we come back over here to the, the Word doc, we'll see that inventory was about $20,000. Then on myself is 12,000. So that's personal development, building out my structure for my business. So the entities, um, my my CPA, that's what all those expenses are. And so that's a total of, and then I also have some miscellaneous, uh, just about a thousand. So total for that card, $33,000. Again, I got $650 from uh, cashback rewards. So that's awesome. Now let's go uh, to my next uh, credit card statement. And that is my Wells Fargo uh, Platinum credit card. And if we come over here, let's see if I can find it. You'll see this is my Wells Fargo business card. Um, my credit limit on that is $12,000. And it, this is a business credit card where this is not connected to me. This is 100% tied to my business. And I'm slowly building up the credit line. It takes some time to build credit. And it, it's something that not a lot of people talk about, but it's something that you guys should be doing. If you're 16, 17, 18, 19, I don't care how old you are. If you guys don't have a credit card, I don't care what anybody tells you. A credit card is good for you if you know how to use it. So go get a credit card. Um, it can be the simplest credit card. Don't worry about the rewards. Just apply for one. Start building your credit and it's going to help you with purchasing homes, rental properties, cars, um, getting more lines of credit. I mean, it's the best thing that uh, you can do for your business is building your credit. So that's what this is doing here. And I didn't spend a whole lot. You'll see that I spent $415. I mean, I get one and a half percent cash back where why would I spend a lot of money on this card when I can spend and get 2% cash back? And so you'll see that basically all the expenses here is DoorDash. And so what I do is I actually set up, uh, I have DoorDash and so um, I do it when I'm working from home, I DoorDash food so that I don't have to drive and go to um, McDonald's or Subway or wherever it is. I just have it delivered to me and then in the meantime I can work. And so that's a legit business expense where I'm paying for somebody to basically go get me food. And that's what um, all these expenses are. So basically uh, almost $500 in DoorDash this last month. So that is a pretty big expense. I could probably save some money there, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but that is the next one is $415 there. So now let's come to the other expenses. And this is where it kind of gets interesting as well, but let's talk about the first one is uh, my new business. And I'm really excited about this. This is going to be launching here in the next few days, I hope. So I'm hoping at the time of making this video, I'm hoping it's going to be launched um, like three days after me posting this video. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be making a video breaking down um, this new business. It's a software business. It has nothing to do with Amazon uh, product research tools, nothing to do with that. But I'm really excited to share with you what I have coming. And that uh, last month, that was like 3,500 bucks in total. We're into it over 20,000. And that was just for this last month. And this has been in the works since like July. So um, 3,500 bucks last month for that. And it just keeps adding up, keeps adding up. So I'm hoping it's a success. I would appreciate your guys' support when I launch that video. Um, I'm super excited for you guys to see what I have in store. So that's um, uh, another expense that I had. Um, just investing in a new business. Then I have my truck payments. So as you guys know, I have a truck, I got a truck and I write that entire thing off. I pay $360, I did take a loan on it. Um, and it, this is another thing that has to do with credit is I do have a really good credit score. My credit score is phenomenal, but I don't have a huge history of, for example, car loans. And my credit history is only like five years. I wish it was a little bit longer, but with this truck payment, I got a loan on it. This was the first time I've ever got a loan on a vehicle. My Tesla I paid cash, Audi I paid cash, and the truck, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna leverage some money. I'm gonna use that money to go make more money, invest in some inventory and whatnot. And I applied for a loan and they required that I put 50% down on the truck. And so I did, I put 50% down. I'm just trying to build my credit. I was willing to pay cash for it, um, but I was like, you know what? If I can get a loan, 
Um, that's great. And so my loan was, I think like $20,000 or something. And so my truck payment is $360. Um, and that comes out of the business. So, um, that's that. And then I have payroll and taxes. So my, my, my structure right now is I have an S corp and I do payroll every single two weeks. And so basically per month in payroll and taxes, I'm basically paying $5,500 to the government. I see $500 of it into my personal checking account. The rest goes to um, withholdings. So that's what that is, my payroll and taxes. And then I have bookkeeping between all my different entities, between my two Amazon accounts, between my real estate uh, books, between my, my holding companies and whatnot. Um, I pay about $500 per month for my bookkeeping. Now that may seem like a lot. Um, if I was to pay or hire someone, it's going to be a lot more. And so I use a company called Bench. If you guys are interested, um, I have 20% uh, off for the first six months and the first month free. You guys can check out the link down below. They're incredible. Um, and they do all my books and it literally saves me hours and hours and hours of every single week of bookkeeping. So that's what that is. And that is all my business expenses for this last month. So if we add that up, what is this total? Let's see right here. Is it a total of $43,539.56? So I don't know how close you were on that number, but that is how much I spent this last month. And I know that may seem like a lot, but I invested a lot into my business, reinvested profits. I invested in more inventory. I'm excited for Q4. I invested in myself. That's the most important investment that I made that month. And then also my new business, which I'm hoping that it just is a, a 100x return. I guess we'll see. But I'm investing inside myself into my business that is going to make me more money in the long run. And a lot of people are like, well, were you profitable last month? And I actually was. I was profitable with all of this, uh, all of these different expenses between all my businesses, real estate, um, I got my, my consulting business, my coaching program. I have uh, my, my YouTube ad revenue, affiliate marketing, my Amazon business. I have two different accounts. And between the two accounts, I'm doing over $100,000 a month. So between all of that, yes, I was profitable. And uh, I'm super excited to see what happens in the next few days. I'm excited to see how you guys react with this new software company that I'm launching with uh, two of my good buddies and it's going to be phenomenal and I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got a better inside look of how much I actually spend. And this is everything 100% transparent. And if you guys want to see more videos, for example, about like credit cards, loans, uh, real estate, different things like that, that's what I'm kind of uh, getting involved in a little bit more lately. Um, it's something that I'm really passionate about because it's something that is going to benefit you for the long run and that's everything that I talk about in the channel, especially with Amazon FBA, is Amazon FBA is for, for the long run. It's a long-term business and everything that I'm doing is for the long-term. Real estate, building my credit, different things like that are huge for your success and your financial success in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next, what you guys enjoyed. Drop a comment, I appreciate it. Like the video. I know I've said that five million times, but literally, for whatever reason, no one likes the video, so like it, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.